Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what's the best cybersecurity multi-tool for you. Um, there's no real right answer. It's more or less, uh, it depends on your situation. And I'm going to break down uh, between these three, the Flipper Zero, the BLE Shark Nano, and the M5 Stick uh, Plus 2. Um, these devices are all very similar to one another. Um, they both provide ethical hacking and uh, pen testing capabilities. But which one is best for you in your situation? So let's start with the Flipper Zero. So the Flipper Zero has been around for a while and it's been tested. Um, you also can use different firmwares for this device. So there's a lot of third-party firmwares you can download. Uh, in most of my videos, I use the Momentum firmware. Yeah, and it's as simple as plugging it in. Uh, there's a web flasher for it and uh, you can pretty much just install the firmware off of the web and uh, you're ready to go. Um, the Flipper it does have a firmware right out of the box. It works pretty good, and it gives you some of the basic tools. But they, you really, if you really want to like unlock the full potential of Flipper Zero, you would need to get like a third-party firmware. Um, the device has a lot of capabilities. Um, I say that this device is more catered toward the people that are already kind of in cybersecurity, already have gadgets uh, for the price range being $180 and uh, not being super accessible to everybody in the world. Um, it's a tough device to advertise, but at the same time, I recommend it to get one at some point, but I don't think this should be your first gadget. I highly recommend getting into the cheaper stuff first or even using like Kali Linux or some kind of free... Um, Linux-based operating system to get into pen testing before you start investing into tools and gadgets like this. Um, it's really good though. I mean, I recommend getting one. I'm not saying don't. Compared to the three other devices I have here today, I would say that it, this is a good device, but I would like to see you get something like the the M5 or the BLE Shark Nano first because how cheap they are and how accessible they are. Um, and it's more beginner friendly. I mean, the BLE Shark Nano was very beginner friendly. We'll get into that in a moment. But when it comes to the Flipper Zero, it's just if it could go wrong, but it's not that hard to understand. But I highly recommend just getting the Flipper Zero if you're somebody that's not as new or is comfortable spending that money up front to get this kind of a device. I mean, it's going to be worth it in the long run. It's a great device and it always will be. But for the price range and how unaccessible it is, I have to steer, uh, steer beginners away from it a little bit. All right, so let's talk about the new guy on the block here. So this is the uh, BLE Shark Nano um, it's by Infi Shark Tech. Um, this company reached out to me a little while ago and sent me their prototype. And I've been testing it for a, uh, a little while now. I've been using it. And uh, this is probably one of the easiest cybersecurity gadgets I have ever held out of all the gadgets i made videos on on my channel this is, has to be the most simple one to set up and use the setup process for this device alone was so simple basically as soon as you open it up it's going to walk you through how to connect it to your phone or get it connected to a wi-fi connection so it can grab the stuff itself and install the firmware and once you do that it'll look for updates and as soon as you um update it it's ready to go like it they was it's you don't need to plug it into computer find a firmware and install it it's just ready to go right out of the box so kind of similar to like the flipper zero when you first buy it um you get, you get like a standard firmware for it the ble shark gets its standard firmware uh unlike the uh, m5 which we're going to talk about in a little while um you're going to see on the screen here as i'm talking this some of the features that this thing already has but uh, the like the M5 doesn't, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But the BLE Shark Nano is just it's easy because it's going to be easy for you to maintain it. Um, for under $40, uh, you get a lot of Flipper Zero capabilities uh, without having to buy modules for it. So like if you want to do Wi-Fi pen testing with the Flipper Zero, you have to buy a Wi-Fi module, which is a pain. But this little beeper sized device fits in your pocket so well, and it has all like the basic tools that like a cybersecurity and consultant would want to show people vulnerabilities on the spot for me that's like why it's my daily carry as of right now i kind of replaced this device with the flipper zero and i like promoting it because it's the most easiest to maintain uh it's cheap accessible it's easy to get this device anywhere in the world um and uh and it's going to be launched in march of 2025 so it's right around the corner um i highly recommend getting this device uh but for, this is more catered toward the beginner. So again, what, who is this device um, catered toward? It's for beginner 
pen testers, people that want to get into it, that don't want to spend a lot of money and want a tool that's easy to use um, and they can feel comfortable with using, this is the device to get. So now let's move on to the M5. So the M5 is good for the level two beginner. So it's a good device and for $10 less than the BLE Shark Nano, um, you save in money, but you lose in convenience and usability. So I, it's usable, but it's not comfortable to use. The buttons are tough. Um, right out of the box, you have to install a third party firmware to even get to uh, be close to a Flipper Zero replacement. Um, in the video in the background here, you'll see that I'm using a thing called Bruce Firmware. Um, I have videos on that on my channel. So you have to like, download and flash that um, firmware onto this device to even get it to work that way. And once you do do that, uh, if you ever need to make updates and changes, you have to do the whole process over again. Um, this device has a lot of capabilities. It has IR, um, has pretty much everything the Flipper Zero has, um, and it has, again, the Wi-Fi pen testing stuff, so without needing an actual mod module to add, so that's one thing it has over the Flipper Zero. But for a $30 device, you get a lot, but it's a little bit less user-friendly. So that's, that's where I get into where the BLE Shark Nano is the better beginner device because it's just so easy to use. It's very, like, GUI-based and very... Uh, brighten in your face and just very simplistic while the m5 you get a little less like the simple simplistic you get a little bit less of that feeling so i recommend each one of these devices i think you should get all of them um if i had to pick an order i recommend you getting the ble shark nano first then buying the m5 and then when you're done with that go ahead and get a flipper zero for 180 dollars plus uh, depending on where you get it in the world it's that that's the reality of it so I, that's my order i would get these devices if i were you um i am really excited for the ble shark nano i think that's going to be uh one of the top five uh maybe even the top three cybersecurity gadgets out there as soon as this thing gets launched in uh, two, uh 2025 in march um but i'm really excited for it so the, all these devices are great it's all about what you're actually looking for at the end of the day. If you like these videos, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell. And uh, remember, safety is an illusion. And I'll see you guys in the next video.